watching a master at work. Form Next this year was bustling with new 3D printer launches, many of which seemed to follow a familiar pattern. However, a good proportion of the releases had already been leaked or announced ahead of the event. The Prusa Core 1, on the other hand, was an exception, dropping unexpectedly at the event just months after the launch of the MK4S. This surprise unveiling not only sparked excitement, but also showcased Prusa's ability to innovate and keep the community on its toes. This channel is sponsored by Polymaker and PCBWay, the best choice in filament and PCB manufacturing. What wasn't as shocking, however, was the machine's Core XY design. During my recent visit to the Prusa factory, I even remarked on how wild it was that the Prusa Pro AFS exists, but only as part of a multi-machine system. I suggested that a single standalone version would be an exciting addition, and, well, kind of here it is, the Core 1. Coincidence? Well, maybe not, but it's safe to say that the printer is certainly turning heads. Mr. Prusa himself was immensely proud of his latest creation, showcasing its standout core features, including unbreakable doors and a robust exoskeleton that exudes durability. But beyond its rugged design, the truly eyebrow-raising aspect is its backwardly compatible upgrade path. This means that owners of the MK4 or MK4S can future-proof their machines by reusing many of the existing parts to transform them into the new Core 1 model. This clever approach ensures sustainability while solidifying Prusa's commitment to long-term value for their users. I like to think of this as being your 3D printing business in a box, but you still have choices. You can choose this in a kit form or have it pre-built by Team Prusa. The kit, of course, comes in at the lower price point of £874.80 and the pre-built version £1,138.80. Now, the kit starts shipping in April 2025, but the pre-built version, I'm told, the earlier date of January 2025. All of these prices, of course, includes VAT. So features and innovations, the machine introduces several standout features, starting with the increased bed size of 250 by 220 by 270 millimeters, offering the expanded print area. Active temperature control, capable of maintaining 55 degrees Celsius, ensuring improved print quality with challenging materials such as ASA, PC and nylon filaments. The core is also prepared for colour printing and will in the future be compatible with the multi-material 3 control board. Prusa is also delivering exciting hardware updates, including the GPIO hacker board, which I have right here with me, and soon to be released chamber camera. These additions represent yet another set of well thought out design upgrades for users. On user privacy and updates, and as always, Prusa emphasizes 100% privacy with its offline mode. An important feature for many commercial customers and users, while it might not matter to everyone, it's a critical consideration for businesses prioritizing security. Firmware updates remain seamless as ever. Simply load the update onto the provided USB stick, reboot the printer, and you're good to go. Prusa continues to prioritize user experience by incorporating innovations like 360 cooling, onboard cameras, reduced print waste and modular upgrade kits. With this level of attention to detail and users' needs, it's hard not to be impressed by what they have on offer. Tied in with reputation, customer service, all since 2012. Now, while I did get to play with the printer in a hidden way back room and bend the doors back, there simply wasn't time to really get into it. But what I can say is that the Core 1 is a printer that I certainly want and would even look at the upgrade kits for the two MK4 versions that I have here. I was hoping for a sub 300 degree hot end, but maybe that's something for the future. It currently tops out at 290 degrees according to the operating temperature on the website. However, the event literature does state 300 degrees, and I will be sure to confirm that number in the description down below. As far as I can tell though, there haven't been any compromises. Door sensors, RGB lights, ethernet, Wi-Fi via NFC tap, remote print management, and the Prusa app, and of course that chamber camera, which for many will be the icing on the cake. So that's it for the Core 1 until hopefully I get one in for review. However, the Core 1 wasn't the only printer that they showed off at the Form Next event. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Concept Prusa Wooden Core 1, which has seemingly met with some divide. Personally, though, I think it looks pretty cool. And certainly if they made a limited run as a 3D printing fan, I'd certainly love to own one. It does have a glass door, wooden elements for filament mounting, and even a drawer to keep your spares in. The friendly banter here, of course, could be that Prusa are poking the bear, or more to the point, the panda. There's a ton that you could read into this, cladding a printer in cheap wood, which does achieve maturity inside of five years, rapid growth, and well, so on. I rest my case. But please let me know what you think about the new Prusa Core 1, and also what you really think about the wooden variant.
as always in the comments down below. And to aid that, I'll leave you with this. Let the game begin. May the odds be ever in your favor. You are watching a master at work.